If this situation is not properly addressed as soon as possible, it will further compound an already bad situation for people living along the border created by the prolonged border closure and thus ex exerting more hardship on the people. Further worry that if we are going to have an order of this nature, there must be some kind of palliative measure. If you're going to have a blanket approach that 20 kilometers from the border, tankers cannot go, then you must at least find, even with five petrol stations that can be selling fuel so that peace people can still go about their daily life and, 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 and run their businesses. But to say that 20 kilometers, nobody can sell, uh, no petrol taker, tankers can, can sell petrol or take petrol to the, all the border town, what do you expect the people to do? They have to drive, a pregnant woman or somebody at night needs to go to a hospital, there's no petrol, they have to go 20 kilometers away to buy petrol, and before they come back, these are the things we have to look at where we are making pronouncements of this nature, Mr. President. We should have an engagement, just like one of the prayers said, with the custom authorities in the country, and we should look for what is in the best interest of our people.